Hey everybody, what's up? So I had a video out months ago about the sun being yellow. And now it's like a pure white light, a very bright light. And you can feel it as soon as you walk outside on your skin, it's instant heat on your arms. So I'm 55. And my last video, people's like, yeah, it used to be orange. And other people go, bullshit, it was always white. Okay, so now the difference I'm catching between all of this is the older people remember a yellow sun. The newer kids, the younger kids, don't because they were born after the sun changed. So, um, Ron Davis, he's a physicist and a long-term resident of the solar system, he came up with uh, the sun is, in fact, changed color correspondingly to test the hypothesis of how eliminates consequences of such a change or some shit, whatever. So, let's go to the next one. If I can find it, where to go? This phone does not want to cooperate with me. There we go. Okay. So, a long time ago, um, our sun, I'm down in the second paragraph, the sun appeared yellow, the perceived color temperature was on 3300 Kelvins. Uh, the change from yellow to white was actually caused by a change in the sun's temperature, and the sun's absolute temperature would have changed by a factor of roughly 5200, you know, from 3300, uh, 1.58%. The Earth's absolute temperature then would change the same ratio. So, that tells you right there that um, whoever believes, or remember, not believes, who actually remembers the sun being uh, a light yellow, you know, comment on here. And I know the younger kids are going to say, nah, the damn thing's always been white. Well, it may have always been white, but when I was little... Back in 1965, uh, it was yellow, and it was not as bright white as it was, and I could be outside all day playing with my Matchbox cars and running around like an idiot, and we never put on sunscreen, and we never wore sunglasses, and none of that, and that was it. So, uh, now... Oh my God, you got to put on SPF 40 or 50 and some weird shit. And the earth is getting hotter because the damn sun is getting hotter. And they're blaming cars and all this other crap, which, which may be helping a little bit more, holding in some of the heat. But I'm telling you, the sun is getting hotter. And I'm not crazy. It may sound crazy. It may look crazy. But, um, yeah, that's... Uh, that's what's going on. And I think the government knows it because they, I heard on the internet that they've been building underground bunker for quite a while. And I guess Denver airport, that they didn't need a big airport. There's something huge underneath that airport. And the airport's done. But they're still hauling out truckloads of dirt coming off a side road. And that can be proven on the internet. That's not a made up story so they're still digging underneath that airport and they said oh the four buildings oh we they were in the wrong place so we just backfilled over them no they didn't those buildings are still there so anyways you know i'm hoping some older people will see this and remember you know that the sun was in fact yellow you know not a sunset and not a sunrise because you can kind of still see that today, but it was yellow all day long, you know, not like uh, orange yellow, not, not not that yellow, but a nice, a nice yellow, you know. But so that's what's happening, and they're blaming cars, and they're blaming coal factories, and they're blaming everything else. But they're not looking up at the damn sun because everybody's looking down at their phone, so nobody's really noticed it over the time. You know what I mean? But I'm sure if you go back in history and find some old-time pictures, you'll probably find, 
you know, some yellow sun in the background. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But, well, throw your two cents in. Let me know what you think. And I'll catch you later.